Greetings, everybody. I'm Gunnels3 here, and welcome back to Great Tate's Detective Chronicles, or the Great Tate's Detective um, 2 Resolve. Oh, um, last time we um, finished the investigation of Chapter 2. So now we're about to start the trial of Chapter 2. Um, we're either finishing Chapter 2 today, or we're going to go straight to whenever the um, to be continue happens. Let's go. Oh boy, here we go again. Sasako, it's hockey, it's all now in it's now a cat mode again. Uh, this is then is it then Mr. Nardo? Yes, it's time to put an end to this now. To this miserable curse that has been plagued Mr. Natsumi Chatter. And in a small way, I'll still do everything I can to help you. I always appreciate your help, Sato. Chef, this is Aki, selfish, sidelined. Ah, oh, good morning to you, Mr. Natsumi. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm not gonna, uh, listening to you two cat chatting away happily as the main, as of the main player of today's trial is in here. Why would you do that? Uh, is that a fourth wall break? Seriously? Oh dear, we didn't mean to cause the offense, Mrs. Nelson. I thought perhaps if you had your eyes shut, you were meditating, finding an inner calm. It seems to seem wrong to disturb you. I was waiting. What? What's the matter, Mr. Nelson? You seem different somehow today. That was naturally. That's because I've attained spiritual enlightenment. Back of literature, see. You see, it's a journey to discover one step. I'm, dead. I'm not gonna lie, this guy's music is catchy. Oh boy, here we go. Or it's just such like, there, that's the sort of morning conversation I hope for. That's why I had my eyes shut. I missed the signs, I'm afraid. Somehow, you have to forgive me. And you mustn't talk, take your path leading your death, Mr. Nelson. That's just an example. Oh, yes. There's an inner home. You barely came to see me at all yesterday. I was sure you abandoned me and returned to our beautiful lost homeland. We have been. We have not even been in Great Britain a week yet. Yes, anyway. Well, anyway. I intend to set everything straight in court today. I need to determine and uncover the truth. <clears throat> I've actually reached the important decision myself. Oh, what sort of decision? I also feel well, you are not going to trial. Alright. Let's see. Mr. Sholmes isn't coming today after all. It's very clever. It's a very clever measure, I think. My dear fellows, you must win this battle on your own merits. Eh, very clear message, I think, that he ever slept again. Point taken! <laughs> the great detective from Harrison says, Well, we the only way to see what they be asking. Your legal and your legal representative, a trial is about to begin. Make your way to the court immediately. Oh, boy. Here we go. Today, once again, we face the Reaper, and the Reaper will stand for the prosecution when the debate's sealed. <clears throat> I don't believe the legend anymore. I believe suzaka sons curse. The truth is hidden somewhere, and I won't let it escape me. I have to keep believing in my clients and fighting to the very end. That's all. Oh, boy. Are we get different jury members this time? Or number four? Or are we gonna keep it? Yep. No, we still have Miss B here. Are you ready to declare the court? I call upon the council's prosecuting for defense to declare the one of his Prosecution is ready. Yes, the defense is ready. Very good. And I call upon the six ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Choosing but a lot versus a, aka the same people who were yesterday. 
absolutely just as well been done. Mark my words. Ah, I have a lot to say. I find I feel especially ruthless on the day on the hat I'm sitting on. Oh, well, I wonder what I could adjust my hat for me. And please, he gets her close as you like. He's like, don't deserve to die if you ask me. Especially gas thieves. I have, I simply no for that man at all. Oh, look, I said yesterday and I'll say it again. I don't have time for this. I got my own problems. Oh, may there be lords. May the lord shall bring all of his light. And he'll leave his lock right to this again today. Now, Lord Von Zykes, what can you tell us? I see. Alright, please, what a court. Relish. So, he does have the result. Or the prosecution delivers the back black news about the black tea belonging to the black guard on, on, on deck and deck. Are you allowing me? Oh, that's her. Thank you, sir. So, as indicated, the right defense, we found bars up just outside the victim's window in the snow. And there was indeed a reckless reddish liquid in, in a little depression of the top. Yes, that's my defeat. Very well, well, the brains at Sutton Yard analyzed it. Yes, you are right, it was tea. And there was a trace strychnine, other or other. Oh boy. Here we uh, go. No. Here we go again. In other words, the tea was not defendable. It is. It is clear. It's in the clear. What a revelation. But there's a problem. Here comes the problem. Ah, so that's as I suspected. That makes me clear. The defendant, Mrs. Sakusan, is blaming us here. Here we go. <sighs> here we go. Yes, it's true. No. request. It's a shame, Spear. Yes, it sounds as if we're going to have another conversation with our theatrical friend. I don't think they're going to uh, buy his story again, but I mean, worse has happened. Change beer to the stand. Uh, I'm Shakespeare, the victim of this whole crime. Oh heaven, oh hell. Oh deep in the river. Oh shit, I was tied to the go. That's what the river. The witness may not be it's not innocent as innocent as we He was my stone. Oh my very simple smile. But the be a villain. Oh swords. This is shapes here. Did not have did have a room full of sweet fuel given. That's right, villager. Don't forget this man brought the thief. I have forgotten. Keep about the coin, about the ice coin. On <laughs> you. I rest him. I rest him up once. I have to look those things on this fight. Oh, indeed. But they ain't a bit of a coward. I have not plotted to further mine own end, I confess. 
Still wasn't far in the mire since. Oh, I am for sure. If you're acknowledging your wrongdoing, what exactly are you doing here? Cowards die many times before their death. And for cowards such as I, death be their deserved, but wouldn't that still be greater crime past if I'm punished? Poor the poor low. Oh, the hair of Christian and Paris then ran in the side of the fall. Objection! But you let me know. Look. Is that not so, Mr. Sinclair? Where are they? Are they using a bell with me? Oh, here we go. Very well, the witness will test my. Tell the court why is it. I hate this guy so much. I thought, um, Mr. Um. Uh, the. Um, McGinnis was bad? Heesh. <laughs> The Japanese man did cut my timber with the teapot roof. This was the cop the lone wicked mystic secret with his stuff poison. Well, the baby was acting on the bait. Mira did the drop of my own teapot on my lips. Uh, so they, did. they died. The cop on the point's eyes. This is no surprise. The poison was not found in the tea I poured, but it's a mouth. I think I found the inconsistency, but let's go ahead and press everything. I mean, folks. Uh. Okay. That is quite simple. Uh. I'm not saying that N word because let's just say this right here right now. It's a slang, and it's a racial slang. So he said. Yeah. Well, uh, the, poison, the poison only becomes problematic when it's got Ugh, I knew that. I know, it should be perfectly clear. The bar on the cheese. This is only... This is true. I seem to hear be dominant deep gas. But, but, listen here, ladies and gentlemen. That thing has to be metal. It has to be rubber. I barely, I have no flaws. I ought to lose. Hail, I don't declare. Thank you for your opinion. Council, please proceed with your cross examination. Yes, Miller. I understand that you're already an acquaintance with Mr. Zombie, is that correct? I know thee not, old man. All the prayers to thee prayers. Do I know thee now or know thee not? Me thinks it's till I know I this destiny mingles in mind with mine. You lost me at the first E. <laughs> Down, sir. Thou must learn English stone before thou turn the hand to the Lord. Oh, I did, but I must have missed the Arcan Elizabeth lecture. I really entered. Tis was a favorite of a flavored brew. Though a drop of poison did barb sweet its sweetness. As thorn thou darb the sweet nose. <sighs> Guys, I've um, had Shakespeare before, and this is kind of um, his words are pretty much almost easy to spoke. <laughs> but dear villains, be simple, be the simple truth. Listen to Mr. Shakespeare; he seems even better from than he was yesterday. Either that, or I'm in worse form, or both. That fat, that fatal evening, did I die? Did I dine? A great, a grub, grubbery, local allusion, al a good of uh, good report. Uh, alas, a good report. Not died past my lips, did be tainted by black tea. But behold, poison was not in my tea at first. 
Oh, please tell me my um, life is going to go down. Plus, tis was a cup. Tis is. Tis was my, in my cup. Alone, the wicked mess with Miss Grant is like really poor. The wicked is wicked poor. Hold it! Are you saying that you saw the moment when he when the poison arrow was your tea? Uh, to have witnessed the act and drank the tea, thou thou subscribe the action as of, of a fool. You are a fool. Quite so, quite so. Now, if you remember the Romeo and Juliet, uh, someone died by drinking poison. But no one likes going thirsty, do they? Sooner would I die, quite harsh, would I have no choice. Actually, one night in question, the water main was frozen, I believe, was it? Were it not for the tea, and two would it be sooner I had died, the frozen that had quite, quite quenched or parched. Alright, no ice means no breed heating. A witness that has had more, had more rush for death on the night in question, it was here. Hmm. Mind the court, Mr. Shakespeare asked the weather the accused drank. Did he, he bought a It was a great pleasure, my lead. What's this was starting the debate? He need nor drop his own tea. Hold it! But the takeout master something was found was completely empty at the scene. How did he not? Let's not forget. No, it was hot. I did gulp the poison in the cup that night, in my, in my agony, with the uncontrolled. Oh, the, it fits a pain, I knocked a fellow's cup out of the contest, it spills the grass before I'm the wound that may think, gasping the wound may think. Though, certainly, it was, was what I had made for the coins. And then I cup, up, found. Upset cup on the table was found when the victim was slumped over. There was no contradiction here. This is true, there was no petite tea left in her cup either that what we found at the scene. But still, something about this statement is troubling me. Yes, of course, I know what it is. And this is isn't it? No, I'm not sure that is it. Thank you, witness. Really try to reiterate your statement. I believe. It's this statement I have to present. I think the contradiction is on this here. Objection. Yep. You claim that Mr. Nasumi didn't drink the top of the tea that night in question? But that's impossible. How 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 top logic? What is it, you dark ground friend? Two teacups were at the scene, one used by the victim and the other by the defendant. I have a clear difference between them. It's one that represents the alcohol proof. Incredible. What is the difference? Look at the inside of the cup, inside where it's clearly a bit of wine. Yes, a tea ring. A common place to look at. Indeed, such stains occur when they release the tea. And yet, this is not Timmy's cup. That's no such ring. My lord, you're right. It's going to look green. And pardon thee, sir. What is message that thou of it? Exactly, Mr. Not so much. Dark. The tea. While it's hot. That's right. Yes. That's right. So he has a true. Uh, if you're claiming your testimony, you didn't touch it. A ring would have developed inside the cup of his own well after several hours of drinking still. But, er, 
in a short position here. You're clearly lighting the court. But, uh, don't you know? Oh, well, here we go. Best of all, I've gone several times, up to seven times during this one, but you might want to keep that information to yourself. Yeah. Yet, yeah, on occasions, a deep young know, distraction rash me, I pour more times than I tend to. Air drinking habits is, are fascinating, but I'm only. On the contrary, they illustrate the fitness of a human's man. And well in shape there. Yes, really? Though so you previously stated that you made coin and asked the leftover teeth to use cup. The would be perhaps mistaken. Oh boy. I knew this was coming. Could it be that yes? Perhaps there was some tea remaining in the small teapot left at the sea. Uh, saw that's coming. Yeah. He can't be serious. Faith even at least, but thou art magician. But rarely though it has at least. Uh, Force bolt, I'm was mistaken. I did plan to use the Jap the tea from Japanese fellows cup, but though but though when I looked at it, it was empty. And thus, uh, I used the dirt, the best dirt, in the teapot as my leeches. Huh. He did Oh boy. And you just suddenly remember that now? That you must set before? Are you supposed to believe that? Objection! My goal's memories are impactful. Huh. But, which is why I rely on evidence to set. Oh boy. But in my any case, it makes more sense. My testimony tells it. Firstly, the poison was of the victim's teacup only. And secondly, there's Oh boy, here we go again. I think we know where this is going. Oh that fool of course. I know it. Here we go again, and I think we all know this me where this is going. I think. I swear I didn't. This guy is full of himself. Why I did partake in my favorites. I brought the Wetson's cold soup. And a leaf which in that cold cell. As an obvious menu, stuff us where it was served. But by God, it gave us it was some fault of the was made. Only the supper of the husband that was like the gas. But I pray the normal fellows not mere forget the simple truth. Oh boy, here we go. I think we're all hating this guy by now. I almost think so. <laughs> Here we go. It's time for our cross examination. It's Dora's examination time. Examination, everybody again. Very well. The board is a whole 
Until you kind of build, find out what's going on. And the man is, I'm mad logic. Having considered all the evidence, the defendant must be guilty. Logically guilty. I do agree the gas is far too expensive. I quite understand why the man was wanting pain. The suffering explodes. It can only, it can be poison, you know. It's fully lethal gases. Gas is comes free for free. It costs fortune to deliver at the CD maintain pipe. I have to be told the tea my wife starts for me is strictly oh, it's, right. it's nothing past the lip of the victims left us that night. There's nothing yet. no uh, they all have good points, but I gotta have to talk. Mm, I think a lot of her sort of personal opinion about the gas and the supply. But never mind. No, no, no. You really shouldn't mind. But this, our counter argument wasn't as acceptable as we hoped. Mr. Shams here was poison, but there got no doubt about that. Then how are we supposed to turn this around? Think. We need to establish a method by which Mr. Shams here was actually poisoned. Our only hope is to determine, demonstrate that to the court and control it. But there is surely almost impossible to the state. I, if we don't manage it, though, oh, Mr. Shamefair will. We'll be found guilty. We have so many. Let's press everyone. That guy behind me, I really want to punch in the face. The LD is bad. It should be how sick. Hold it! All the evidence, you say. Right, and there's no room for doubt. It's boring to have these men for with the big. Uh, sassy English man with the bigger mustache. Oof. <laughs> this means we need to show them some new evidence to change his mind. If only we had that kind of evidence. Don't worry, this domination has barely started. Really. Or else we are to be accepted in a uh, situation that shows the assistant proof of evidence and they're like, that's right. So start with though, I need to find some way out of this deadlock. Hold it! That, not, that's just not the time to be discussing prices of gas right now. But I really think of the dirt, you know, justice of air is gas and air is free. Why should the automation gas company it, it's, a, it's my blood boil. I can feel myself becoming more ruthless than ever. This isn't a time or place to be ruthless either. I might interject here. Uh, yes, madam. It seems the fellow juror takes issue with our price company's gas charges. But precisely, that's precisely because of thieves like this man that the gas goes up. Oh. Oh, what a beautiful man. No, no, no. Mrs. Moon is not the one that's down gas. But they see. Mrs. Moon has been. Well, anyway, I quite mean my mind. It's me. About the poisoning rather than the gas, don't you think? Oh, if you like. I mean, to be honest, I take poison over gas to hang every time. Really? You take poison? What I mean is, poison can only. Poison is can only poison you if it you, it doesn't explode, does it? Goodness me, what are you talking about? Say it straight, please. Well, it's certainly true, the poison is a prone to exploding. But, I think you'll find poison can also heat up on the room. Ah, you're right. It could scare all that, that's all. Um, yeah, yes. 
They have a good head on their shoulders. We could use some like on the company with the course. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting to pick up some business in the middle of this row. That's for sure. Anyway, the point is, I haven't had the best experience with gas companies in the past. Hold it! Can we please refrain from talking of gas? This, this is all out tad on the way in your case, had you noticed against my gas company. Am I supposed to sit here, take it out of I don't think so. She's really buzzing now. Oh, I've heard it's a wonderful explosion of gas. Well, let's just see. Ooh, about getting explosion gas. What's that? I suppose it's here and there. Nothing in comparison. Any explosion, any explosion hardly described as nothing, Madame Netherlands. The theft of your gas is deplorable. My point is why exactly. The gas these are an even worse crime. We have far more devious content on our developer of the base now. Or devious. Who do you mean? Other gas companies, of course. Other gas companies? Not quite what I was expecting. We generate gas and we deliver it to our customers fair and square. Indeed, nobody's questioning that man now. Automata is the most exemplary gas company. But there's other unscrivulous um, gases out there in London that doesn't even have gas in it at all. What? But if you don't have any gas, how do they go about stuff? <laughs> you wouldn't think for a hustle, would you? But they still gas our gas, you see, and sell it. They steal your gas. How on earth is such a thing impossible? Gas companies like ours deliver to people's home via a um, network pipe. But these devious um, pipes these secretly discount our pipes and divert our gas into their own brown pipes. They make co a contract with the um, households to supply those pipes. And money for and money for that precious gas is rightfully ours without even knowing. They're diverting gas into their own pipelines illegally. What a blazing, what a blazing form of that! When you first visit our customer's house, be a customer's house. When you visit our customer's house to collect their money from their meter, we always have a check whether or not none of. Yeah. Hello. Excuse me. Do you have something to say about that, door number three? Oh, really? You mean me? I'm terribly sorry, I was just thinking to myself. I really did catch him off guard there. <sighs> thinking about what the lady was saying next to you, correct? Well, yes. I just got a little riled up, you see. About, uh, let's see, recently. Go on. An ultimate gas worker visited my house the other, by the other day to investigate my, the pipe work. We need to ask you for your cooperation while we carry out a secret check on your property, sir, the fellow said. So I let him in and do what you did. Do you know what he did? I am afraid I have no idea. Please tell us. He proceeded to take one of the lights of the wall, off the wall, and then he grabbed the exposed uh -huh. I was mouth of the pipe and started blowing into it. What do you think you're doing, young man? You're giving away company secrets there. Oh please, everybody knows. But it's barely nearly deaf for me, I can tell you. What do you mean? I'll explain if you don't mind. As I said before, these unscrupulous gas companies connect their customers to our pipes network. Yes, but how does blowing in the pipes come to it? To it? Obviously, there's gas in the pipes, and there's a fairly low pressure, and it's fairly open. But by blowing in the pipes, you can make a pressure drop temporarily. And if you do that, the lights are connected to the same pipe, will flicker in the moment, for a moment. Ah, I see. In other words, 
if blowing into the pipe of a lake of an adjacent property has no connected contract with your company, Flicker, you can know that the, the devious scoundrels have meddling with the pipes. Exactly, my lord. This is that's it in a nutshell. And it's the reason why we have teams of workers going around the neighborhoods of investigate the with the witch lights flicker. The trouble is the particular worker who came by in my house didn't know the surface of breath. He blew down the pipes with all his might and you can guess what happened, can you? Well, if he blew it so hard then wait, you mean he 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 knocked it all down. That's right, the lights didn't flicker, they were out. Along with the stove, the gas started pouring into the house. What a disaster. The gas supply must have been interrupted briefly because the map blew so hard so the flames went out. I'm afraid I yelled at the fellow. Are you trying to kill me? That was all of them, I said. Wait. So by disconnecting the lamp and blowing it into its combustible pipe, it's possible to distinguish the lamp and stoves connected to the same network of pipes. And when the gas starts flowing again, recently, the seep seeps into the court. But Naruto, I think perhaps... Yes, this is almost certainly a clue we've been waiting to open for. Paragraph 3, the defense requests that you amend your statement including that information. Oh well, well like, if you like, I don't mind. Oh, I do. I do. That's our company's secret masters. And in fact, like I said, Madame, I rarely are. It's widely known already. I have to agree. Very well, Juror Number Three. You are well in your statement, accordingly. Well, yes, my lord. Although, and I'm not really sure what point is. It is. Only. You mean it's poison? That's right. It happens to tidy a few times now. The most troubling indeed. It's always like that from day one. One, when I don't get my wage, I get in my teeth out. See? I see her doing it, my wife. She gets a devil of smoke on her face. She slipped, it slipped some white powder in my cup. And you don't even like it anyway. I brought it up proper, I was. I was giving you um, a cup of, you drink it. And what happened to you? What does it taste like? It was god awful, believe me. Silly as, salty as hell. And I think perhaps what your wife put in your teeth was salt. Oh. So, she doesn't even care enough to poison me properly at full label. <laughs> Let's move on, please. Hold it! Does that mean that the victim could have shown how they just said something else? You've changed it, you're learning? Mm, sorry, what's that now? Oh, I was just saying, if the victim actually ate or drank something else that night, what's the matter with you? Sorry. I said, if nothing else passed the victim's lips that night, there's no other explanation. Haven't you been listening to you? I feel there's a nameless expression of the pot, the pot and the lap kettle that I've spoken here. Come. Compared to the other jurors who don't even appear to have anything to say about the case at all, it would seem the elder gentlemen have been listening to the proceedings far more intently. I suppose the trouble is, he has selective hearing. Exactly, but still, this juror may be a key to breaking through the, um, the, this one we need. Ugh, this is hopeless. There's no way for me to appear ill to these people. I do think that's the only way we shall overcome the difficult situation. By expressing the way Mr. Shakespeare was really poisoned. 
We have to prove that it happened some way or other via Mr. Nelson. As I know, the trouble is, I have absolutely no idea how it did. Mr. Naruto, I wonder if perhaps there's something you might have forgotten. Oh, like what? It's important to watch everyone involved pursue someone else. Again, Mr. Saki's on his face and my hands here. Probably of my client and to hear my advice and you advise my assistant maybe. Perhaps I should opt to let Mrs. Saki's I think it's these two that you have to do, because I... Objection. Yep. These two statements clearly contradict each other. Good gracious. What two statements... Those two whose statements you... Chart number six? What do you have to say? What you heard what... Um, uh, what? Yes, of course. I hear him mumbling about something or other. There is another explanation, I believe. Something besides Miss not assuming did matter to speak past her to make himself in the night. What? What exactly? I wonder, did the police check the mouths of the gas pipes feeding the walls at the same point in the scene? To see whether the trace of trip was in there? I was curious to see what you're honoring, um, what result in time, but the mouth, but the mouth of a gas pipe? Scotland Yard have enough to do with exploring such a problem. Right, a piece of work, what is it, a man? What are you trying to say? Is there change here? What is speech? Does thou pity thee? It's not strange, it's, it's strange. That was what I to say. I thought I'd be quite clear here. Let me try to put this in a bit. Site 9 could have been in the mouth of the gas pipes. Feed the wall lamp in your room. And what wasn't coming in your body? Good lord. Good lord. Uh, are they tasty than gas pipes? Is that what he's saying? However, the gentleman was suggesting the poor man was so hungry and tried it. Perhaps no actress would perform to kiss him, but what shame, my down Speaking deep, fancy. I assure you, I'm not such a buffoon to have kiss him. Objection! This is no summonation example. This is a. Say for some certainly that multiple it's on multiple occasions. Mr. So Shakespeare have been doing something in front of his lamp on the wall. I have it in support. Alright, you've got your art lamp. Why should I? So why? Well then I got the jar's ears, so I need to make an opportunity. I believe it's the photograph! The one photograph. I believe it's it! Take that! What the? These are... wait, what are they? Oh, yes. 
Stain prints? We all have the same. Stain prints? Council? I've never heard of this such a Just as much as I required to serve the weather not permit prints to the... My lord, this is exactly a new person taking down the back of the phone. I have revealed the place Mr. Shane's here touched in this room. I never see that set like that means it's black. Hmm, <sighs> well, I if anyone could in me. And such a thing like this, it great shows full of that's for sure. I agree. The amounts of the amounts of the English engineering dumb was quite well, we found skin prints in many places you would expect. On tables, on the costumes. However, Mr. Shakespeare also had to have a pin touching something unexpected on his own. For example, here. According to the hand picture here, indeed multiple hand prints have been visible. Well, I wonder. Could we have a... And that stuffing the artwork, perhaps? At first, my colleagues and I thought the same. One more. Image standing with you in front of those handprints would have found yourself directly in front of. In front of. But. I don't believe it. The gas. I don't. Though the reason why is really as obvious, isn't it, Mr. Shakespeare? That's regularly been standing from the wall in front of that lamp. Right, they have been. Uh, I asked the court to recall for, for a statement earlier. Hey, what did I say? You said by blowing the gas pipes would make the lights enter the phone flicker. Now, if I recall during the three statement, what me now? Then the gas workers visited the blue too much of the bottom pipe. Because there were like, the gas still went out, and the gas started leaking into the room. Obviously, that's an incredible incident. However, simple fact is, if Mr. Shakespeare were to blow him hard into the gas pipes here in the room, he could have extinguished every light in the room. Are you suggesting that the man has purposely caused the gas to? Objection! Here we go again. Here we go again. <laughs> Here we go again. the defense's attention that's the form. Really what's the presenter's result of weight. As a tool was this my spots for the ladies and gentlemen in the ring. And if the trial were to come to right now, we should know the learn the truth about these mysterious handprints and everyone's seen them. I don't believe that we could apply. I'm sure Here we go again. Larry, Larry. Yes, I do the clear. I'm trying to take this. Best. I want to. Oh boy. What's the matter with you two? So funny. Oh, I did say I didn't. Know. And I don't like your writing prompts. Oh, wait. He has a problem with it. But here goes the problem. That's three to four. Oh, you had invented clue after all of them. Uh, why is Mr. Shames here? You seem to be losing your composer. Just one more turn, Mr. Nardo.
there first. In the very beginning of the proceeding here in the court yesterday, Mr. Sutton said the following. My lodging, there's been a whole series of strange events happening in my lodging. And a fatal night happened when I turned to Mr. Shakespeare's room. I left my gas stove and climbed into bed, but before long, the stove went out and somebody tried to kill me. On the night in question, the gas in the finished room went out. So I asked the court, was there a mere coincidence or not? Well, the, so the shades here fell blew my room in the gas fight to make it stand. Now hold the horses. What? Why would the. Oh boy. Is it for me? What the? What does that mean? You cannot allow judgment to pass without a doubt for me. It's true, I can't. I don't have a clue to evidence it. However, I should totally agree. There's more to this case than me to get. Fair enough. Like I said at the outset, I mean, that's the logic first and foremost. Here we go again. Four doors lean towards my guilt, my lord. I leave all Therefore, the defense calls the trial to continue. Here comes the problem. Alright, there is opinions conflicted in the accordance of the law. Where I have a goal, ought either either a lamp or a hype. Well, your hamper's made entirely massive value. Okay. I'm done with this. Da -da.
Objection. And the prosecution must see that it was a strong Just enough. If there is a trace of Objection! Well, the fears are extremely simple, as in. Therefore, it shouldn't be beyond you. And the poison one of them is just better than mine. It would have been a completely. Ah, uh, I didn't think of that. In any other case, the council are afraid. There's only one possibility I can think of, and that is. Couldn't be simpler. Now we were. Take that! Mr. Not to me. If the gas lamps were to go out, it would be noticed immediately, of course. A gas, but a gas stove, on the other hand, could be silently extinguished by a killer without even knowing. But I live around these parts, and I, so I know what it's like. I can tell you. He works fine. I can tell you to try to sleep without a stove is pretty much suicide. You freeze no time. Mr. Gardner, the landlord has a large fireplace in his residence on the upper floor. In other words, wasn't the landlord but the fellow, uh, fellow lodger who's on Mr. Shakespeare's turn in? Outrageous. I'm talking, of course, about the defendant. Mr. Natsumi isn't the villain's case. He's the victim's Objection! The accused is actually the aggressor. However, the fact that the case remains unchanged. Anyway. Uh, okay. Let us indulge her. How could anyone have known Mr. Shakespeare's words? Uh, how do you mean? Actually, with a sole possession, the answer to the question couldn't. Only the man whose life is being threatened could possibly know. In other words, the part. Oh boy, here we go again. Culprit comes to mind. The evidence, the poisoning, 
It's all pointing to that a particular person here. Objection. There is only one other person. Yeah, I believe I have. Stabbing in the park in an incident with Tsunami somebody's recess. Yes. But she was left to come and tell us. And I heard from her. Mr. So Shakespeare's poison took place three days. Given that the woman was laying calm with us now, she appears to have True, on the night of the incident occurred, Miss Green had that song. The only face I would see that she couldn't have possibly, but still. My colleague and I visited Miss Green in the hospital yesterday, and we found her to be in possession of a bottle of poison. Very gracious, she had poison. There was another fact that links Miss Green to this case as well. The defense requests that she be brought to the witness stand in order to explain the details of the court. Tell me more, so she's here. Are you acquainted with Miss Green? Uh, uh, no, I've never heard of her. Doesn't mind looking at Mr. Shane's face? I think perhaps he generally doesn't know her, at least by her name. As the voice of Her Majesty's prosecution here, I hear the to the word. Okay. Well, we'll see the I appreciate that. So the prosecution requests a short recess, my lord. In order to subpoena the witness to ring her ear. Yes, well, it's all agreed. Indeed, my lord. One hour of every suffice. Very well, I grant the request. Exact excellent, I hope. The defense has made an excellent journey against Asia, I must say. At the present time, I feel the prosecution's argument remains only uncontested. Accordingly, I'm afraid the defense in the cup in this culpability remains solely objective to the court's attention. Thank you, counsel. We reconvene in an hour. It's still early. Either to the next to be continued or to finish this case. I mean, how long we're gonna be? Oh, that didn't take too long. Or still not all the work. Oh, Mr. Not to me. Oh, please do for you. Please for you. Can be proved. Proved I'm innocent. Proved that the tea is innocent. Ah, good morning, my dear fellow. Ah, Alex Holmes, you made it. Oh, Mr. Holmes, you came. How wonderful. Please, save your desertion. Desertion. I know what you're thinking. Good morning, he says. What? Was it nearly time to launch it? There's one written across the place. Nobody said that though. 
anything of sorts with this. I determined today that will be a day of sleep. So this is me and last night though. But not tomorrow for once I'll show not over sleep. I'll rise up early. To be present in accordance for my such a spirited determination as has a beauty all over and does it not. Oh yes. And I began to muse to the subject. Why do people have a slave I quarried? Why the time and the length, the difference is so full of wonder. And so it comes to me, so it's a life full. People are asleep. Because they sleep. Well, it's that to say. The tune and sight, it doesn't matter. Yes. First upon resolution, realization, I attempt an experiment. I didn't sleep a week like long. As a result, by first light, I was exhausted. And again, assailed by the first devious drawing. Shocking. And so, conclusion of last night's experiment is this. A good night's sleep is quite simply essential. I think most of, pro of us probably knew that already. Right? Whatever others propose, I prove to by experimentation. And my dear fellow, it's a terrific matter. Ah, uh, yes, and one more thing. Do you remember this? Ah! Of course, it's poison in the screen was about the drink and the hospital so, Oh, you didn't notice you? It was a laboratory task. The bottle was nearly empty, but such an inconvenience did not hinder Mr. Solomon's. I managed to confirm that it contained strychnine. So I was right. Perhaps, though, such circumstantial evidence doesn't prove Mr. Green's guilt. I shall leave the bottle in your care now. I looking inside the neck is not recommended. Oh, that will work. <sighs> it's bracing how good it come. Look at it. Excuse me. Wait a minute, Inspector. I um, don't wish to make a nuisance of myself. I look on your face, I say someone else who's making a nuisance of himself. I dare say, please speak freely, pretend I'm not here. Let me, I could if I did. Would be a whole lot of simple for me. Do, do you have the results, Inspector, of the investigation? Not yet. Shouldn't be long, though. No, I'm here for something else. Oh, something else. That, that, that dead convict, actually. Oh, you mean the man on the news, from the newspaper article we found discovered in Mr. St. Cyr's room yesterday? A man by the name of, ah, yes, Selden. I went through the archives and the yard and dug up the fellow's file. There was something in that, well, caught my eye. Something caught your eye? What, Inspector, what? I copy the relevant parts for you. You can read it yourself. Thank you. Let's look at that. Eighteen counts of burglary in suspect for murder in suspect of murder. Died of natural causes while he was in prison. His final moments witnessed only by a cellmate. Estimated one thousand he's I from Condemned criminal dies of natural causes in spring. Manchester uh, Stringway Prison announced to tough to convict murder murderer at a burglar. Her, by natural causes in the cell. He had been suffering a fever since um, the end of October, altered by sh shouts by the shouts of his fellow criminals tell me the, the staff he, the staff arrived him to be dead before he came out to be carried out. What? This document included the details from a newspaper cut and found in Mr. James' room. I'll rearrange everything in the courtroom so we don't have a duplicate. Why are you giving us this copy of the court? Well, you're the ones who turn up the clues at first place, aren't you? I'm just making sure things get handled in the proper fashion. Oh, Scotland Yard's working so wonderful. 
see my fellows, our inspector is here, or is it? Siren Diamond in the rough, maybe? Look, I just don't want to help. And then, um, oh, hold it to a lawyer. That's all. That was quick. Oh, I'll slowly leave you then. I'll be listening to you in the public gallery. Not nodding off out. Not nodding. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. I've ever tried. I've ever tired of seeing that Mr. Massage blood tears personally. So, best of luck to you. What's this? It's something is my Yes. This is Olive Green and Mr. William Shakespeare. This is going to be the final battle. If I really, it won't really have saved Suzaku so I saw I was supposed to hold truth for everything that's been going on, but it's all coming to head now. You can prove do it, so you have to. Wow, that didn't really take so long. Says we heard most sort of accusations from the victim. Namely, that the victim in the case heard, heard only a few days ago was the truth. A reckless, rash, and righteous charge of wrongdoing in my family. However, the prosecution has tied, tried to extend every courtesy to the. Thank you for the, that backhanded consideration. A rather cold assumption from the Honorable British prosecutor, I must say. So, my Lord Von Sykes, is there a new witness present ready to take the Ready, waiting, witness in the witness in the witness in. Farewell, Bela, bring the witness in. Here we go. This in. That's Green and Sean Sparrow. Witnesses, state your names and occupations for the court, please. I'm a Sapsphere, I'm a Leeds, one of my actors, I can't say I'm a say. Any dance, please try to make them the victim. Currently unemployed, in other words. <laughs> and I'll agree. I'm a pleasant artist, well, no, not pleasantly really. A hopeless failure who the weight is me, I suppose. Also currently unemployed, in other words. What's a cut? What's a cut? What a cut? A cut tire? Uh, Mr. St. Fear? Yes, my lord, I am the Emily Server. I am afraid that you are no longer merely the victim in this affair. Possibly, you see, you're a fact of sandwich. It didn't. Part of you play the whole business will be thoroughly scrutinized, I assure you. I would not be, my lord. Also, hey, Miss Green. Yes. What are you aware of the reason that you were summoned here in the court of uh, Yes, how the other uh, did explain. Haha, <laughs> he said I forced him this ridiculous before. And be a savage heart, Miss Green. Uh, I don't have anything about this. And I don't know anything about this man. Oh, come on, lady. Die. To live, mm -hmm. I quickly let's hear very well. Let's proceed with the matter at hand. Let's bring the assertion of whether or not this man was involved with this affair. It's all very strange, very strange indeed. But why would he suspect me? I barely got to be seen anyway. I happened to pass through the neighborhood six days ago, that's all. On the night the man was poisoned, I still was in hospital. Fire. Is having an unfortunate caught the needs in it. <sighs> the incident that yeah, you were unconscious for sort of three days. I was stuck struck in the middle of the back of my though no fault of my own. Um and now I'm on this. Uh whether 
One of the more relevant things that I have to suspect of is on Earth. Mm, pure energy made. Energy is made. Spent worrying about the random knife in the back door. At this point in time, all peers connect you, Mr. Sage here. Watching six days ago. That's why. Why would you testify formally now? What happened, Echo? Oh, no. It's it, it, you mean. Uh, unfortunately, yes. Until you start. Of course, really in here, interested to hear from you about your movements today, too, Mr. Shakespeare. Eh? What? What happened six days ago has nothing to do with me anymore. Let us proceed then. The witness says, pres present their formal testimony to the court. On the subject, the answer to what I wrote on the emus. Oh boy. It was six days ago, about 5 p.m. I was walking along the snow and I was suddenly zapped in the back. Considerably, coincidentally, it happened to be just outside the house where the men, where the men in the case happened lodging, to have their lodging. I was in the tavern I and which is they I'll speak for, a bell looks for a supper, my supper. It was the first time I, in, the, in the area I had a matter of ten to, but that's all. Anyway, I admit it, it is strange and possible. I thought I knew nothing. She has some points. Thanks. Yes, well, Zach. on suspicion attempt to mark. I suspected there is nothing connecting these two. It's true, it doesn't. But I'm not sure. There's something lurking in the shadows here, I'm certain. And this is my only one of the only chances. Arsenal, you make it. That's my lord. Sorry, I had to go through that. It was awful. I still can't believe I was unconscious for so long. I woke up to find the case has been solved in the couple of rumors. Yes, the incident has been resolved already. It, perhaps it would help you consider it as a bathroom that ended with you waking, awakening. Should be blinking. I would forgot. Yes, I suppose so. Thank you. Well, before you put your complete screen, I need to remember the details one last time. You must report exactly what happened that day when we arrived in the truth. The trouble is, there is nothing to tell really. I just saw it walking up in the. Hold it! What were you doing on the, that day, though? What do you mean? The art school you attend. What's it called? Ah, uh, yes, it's the Thorndike Academy of Fine Arts. According to Mr. Jones, uh, it's just a facility of Rickson Road, which is some t ten shops away from the sea of the underground. I believe you mentioned before they also live on Rickson Road, isn't that right? So why then would you have them walking along Bar Road in the Middle East? Well, um... It's because, well, uh, oh yes, of course, it might have been taken uh, The witness is a student of art, city bowling artist, can't an all paint grand, um, uh, urban visit. That's right, that's right. Me, Evan, calmly looked at the part of town. That's quaint. Me, what happened in the last grading term? The problem is, she's definitely hiding something. Yes, it seems she's not going to Fort before coming with the truth. Is she trying to hide why she was there that evening? It must be there's a reason why she's went. Not wanting us to know that's the key to this. 
and you must have changed it on evening of the incident six years ago. What do you please teleport? What exactly were you doing? Uh, that would be my blessing, sir. Ira. Hold it! A tavern, you say? Which one? Tuz was a slug and salad. Good. I doubt they largely this was a duel on the east end. That sounds familiar. A little on it and a little inspected, I feel. Huh? What do you mean, my lord, Lord Barnes likes? The slug and salad offers unusual fine dining for the locals for the locality at least. Not an establishment you expect or quite patronized by a man with no with even not even the crumb in his bear. You're a bright grump of bread in his mouth. Huh? Oof! <laughs> Get oofed! It's true! The minions listed as a premier crust, bread, and glass of water, and different levels of cloudiness. I would have expected gross grubbery in the local vicinity to be more appropriate for your meat. Watery soup, mushy tea, mushy peas, and or rather soupy peas in a little mush. And I equally ill, equally appetited. I just wanted some water er, in a different pub. Uh, once I what's wrong with that? How different can water really be? Or perhaps there's more plausible explanation. A specific reason why he had to be particular. Agreed. The fact that on the day of all he dined, he wouldn't normally be that to stand out. So Mr. Shakespeare's actions on the day of six six thousand five lambs. Or if we have some, if, I, if we have eggs. Not yet. Yeah, but sadly, I don't know. I think we'll find a clue that's playing as Yesterday at the hospital. Ah, uh -huh. it was related to the card you were holding. <laughs> oh, memory, I believe the card contained a note, right? I have a question regarding the death of Duck and Ross. What do you mean does that matter? Excuse me! That's a shame, sir. Do you have something to share with the court? To be or not to be? That is the question. Ah, uh, pray forgiveness. The great bard, Lord Spring, with me in that night, that near night, the. Don't tell me it's because you're possessed by James Shakespeare today. Wait, hearing the screams mentioning Lord's moment seems to make you think of something. Something relevant, perhaps? Uh, uh well, nay, say, nay, nay, sire. I am told nothing at all. Presumably, you know the name of the Duncan Ross, I mean. After all, you were both lodgers at the same house. I wouldn't, I would, it would, what, I wouldn't were so, but sadly night. Lodging be lonely occupant, sire. Light lodging fellow be rather, rather known to me. So you haven't heard of him, even though he passed in the room. Just one floor above yours. Hmm, that's green. Green, you know what? I might have something. The card you mentioned before, it contained a note. Do you have a... 
I do. I don't need any more, in fact. I, why would I, I should have. Before you the boss of it, the court will take it as I'm just leave. Of course, that's why I'm like. Hello! Does that look from out? That, the envelope that's where rather carelessly has it. The screen strikes me as a type to open it correspondingly near that. Ah! Uh -huh. What is it? The way the envelope is for. It's almost as I've seen it for uh, somewhere else. Oh, you don't mean we're thinking about that piece of evidence, Mr. Nardo. Exactly, that's it. I had to match it on up. Got it! They go together perfectly. The torn off envelope barely belongs to this card. Oops, I did it wrong again. Hold it! Let's try this again. Sorry, uh, I stood up there. Information regarding the death of Duck and Ross. Come to the Slug and Salad on Briar Road at 5 p.m. on the 17th. Don't tell anybody about the letter or the meaning. It's a matter of most importance. And so Shane Sherry, your actions on Miss, on the afternoon of Miss Green's evening are exactly described in this note. Uh, uh, personally, I find it hard to believe that's a coincidence. Stop you, Mr. Shakespeare. Um, well, excuse me, I can't say something? Yes, Miss Green? That card was delivered to me. It doesn't have anything to do with this all, man, does it? Oh, that was... I'd 
like to make it very clear that that's a part. Before the incident, exactly one week ago now, this note was delivered to your address. I'm on carrying the instructions and note. You found yourself in the hospital. Yes, I did. It's terrible everything happened to me. Yes, it's terrible. If it's all true, that is. What do you mean? Miss Green, have a look at this, please. It was torn off the end of the envelope. Yep, it, 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 it happens. It fits together perfectly with the envelope note you've received. Uh, where did you find that? In Mr. James Spears' room. What? In the- in my room? <clears throat> Mr. James Spears? Do you perhaps remember this note from somewhere? Uh, well... Your actions on the afternoon, instructions and note letter. Come to the slug and salad out of my you know, and so exactly where you went. Uh, let me ask you again, Mr. Chase here. You already knew about this note, didn't you? And you, Miss Green. Huh? What do you want to do? And this one of foods. The note was originally Mr. Chase here. Uh, so is. I don't have a first idea. There is only one. What? What? You did what? That was what? You broke in my room? I mean, why not earth? Do you want with me? Yeah. Uh, both witnesses need to testify again. Urgh. Mod Sykes is very quiet. The screen? Yes? Whistless, you have court sim- Listen, I'm sure, for your suffering the endure the recent events. Anyone who be given tough testimony in law will be duty punished. Please bear that in mind. Yes? Mr. Chase I know. Very well then, witness, you will now give formal testimony. On the subject and the curious anomaly regarding the note, Miss Green. I do remember now, twice was a week ago, pre adventure, that note was delivered onto me. The day of writing, right, the, at the tiring long hour at the lot, so nobody came. Thereafter, on the evening, I shared the company of the Japanese fellow. I did see the note had finished. I don't know what you mean, though. You stuck, you stuck into this room, I mean. What, what? Can't point out the villain here, and us have torn off a piece of envelope. Doesn't know anything about it. He has, he has a point on that last part. Mm. You can now claim the receipt. Ah, faith as my lord. I would swear upon the table of humble lodging. And yet, it is clear to me that when you turn from the tavern at night, I will not lay life. Hmm. Well, in the case, only it would appear that your testimony was a lie. It is what you think. Is what you think? How unfair do you think I'm the only lying? I beg your pardon. I'm just a pleasant artist, as I said. A pleasant artist, don't lie. On that note, that note was delivered to my address. Besides, we all know the liar here is this. If that's true, Miss Green, how do you explain the fact? The part of the evidence was my own question. Finally, Mr. Chief, I don't see why it would try to explain. All right. I'm a pleasant artist. My job here is to see they say what happened. That's all. It's your job to give an explanation and proof of your fault. Yeah, a blessing will do it. Ooh! Ouch! 
Evangelina. Chloe did bring in Mr. Shane's room. There won't be no question that. Is that's now she acquired the note? Yes, two facts are starting, starting at me to the possible explanation of this, and it's not pretty. It's not a pretty one. light on the contents of the note at all. Oh, nice, Lara. That's strange with me for a time as a foreign tongue. Even with my knowledge of literature as great as mine, oh, verily is impreparable. But as Duncan, Mr. Duncan Ross, has lodgings the same house as you. In effect, has your neighbor surely knew him, did you? If this was this what twit I knew him, I knew him not. Then then this was with our body. Then that for well I for this to declare we were some measure acquainted. And then that's what your claim so you follow the notes instruction and Presumably that was nothing more than your knowledge you know as a word for Mary not Mary not be We'll have been better off if we say or sorry or saved the lore, the lore of curiosity. So true. I was compelled by my own eager heart to betake take myself into the tavern. Yet the end in the other campus in our city was not satisfied. On a day written thereon therein, I I tarry to the lodge the long hour at this long as odd nobody came. So uh, even after the hour nobody appeared? Well um yes sir, this was and what you said I uh, say. Really, you pause for a moment before you answer. In truth, when you asked whether nobody appeared, I did suddenly recall. Really? Do you mean to tell the court that somebody did appear after all? I was not alone at the night of the sun. So that's what's turning to me now. It did treat my lips and almost fall with clear water than my wild frozen little cup. Pretty much cut to it. And around me danced of many great comedians. What do you mean? Fry, fry, file, file, sir. Fly, sir. Fly. Oh, of course. In the name of Beelzebub, what were they? Fairies, free churches, a midsummer night's dream, came taunt me. I think they're just flies. I can't help but thinking that the flies ought to choose something more wholesome than both around. Ah! Is that wrong of me? No, it's not. After on the evening, I shared. The company of the Japanese fellow. I did not. I did see uh, the note had been. Well, uh, what exactly did you notice had gone missing? Such ideal thoughts nearer occupy my mind. I'm biased with the greatest of ideas, greater ideas. In other words, you didn't notice. And now, uh, several days passed between your outing to the tavern and Mr. Natsumi's room. Is it your room? Yes, it would appear that the note disappeared sometime it's in trouble. Such ideal thoughts near occupy my mind. I'm rather bruised by great with great ideas. And yet during the time a screen was comatose at Oswald, you know. Other than she could not have been stealing things in Mr. Sensu. Oh uh, yes, but of course. It is also a misunderstanding, isn't it, Basu? You have so far failed to give a satisfactory explanation how you come to the note. Uh, I am not here to advocate your defense for your defense, madam. I will not I won't tell this to say anything, Tori. You would be 
do well to remember that. No, it's hearing me. What's one of size can? Hold it! It seems that the note actually was delivered to Shakespeare. Oh, it does it. But for some reason, it ended up in your position? I can't think of any way it could have happened except that you were working. Objection! But for what reason the witness have been. Ah. I won't deny that Miss Green's possession of note would appear to defy logic. However, I'm told unless the harm involvement in the case, it could prove no sight otherwise. For the record, the screen could only have come in the possession of the note by someone. And yet, there is an awesome reason why, why she would have done such a thing. What if there is some other reason why she broke into the lobby, though? Yes, we should. <coughs> We're close now, I can feel it. We are so close to. Lodging, fledgling, dog, uh, readily cast a person on the mind of nature. I am an angel, a seraph of the birds, uh, almost a song with the winds on my back. Oh, pity, whatever, thou accuse, very hard of an apple woman. A uh, pure heart, I don't think so. Even fledgling like me could see you as a failure. Just so you see you, you're just a failure. Tragedy. Thou shalt not be the tr know the truth, true heart of an artist, until night instructions are heart filled up by death. On a day of yours, the English the light in thee, thou must wait so long, though, in vain. As you know, you interject with some clear remark. This is your genius to shine. Um, not Shakespeare, er, an actor, Cesaro. No, as far as I can tell, there's only one thing stating the result of this argument. It's evidence. Yes. It's clear Mrs. Green did in fact break into the series for a room, isn't it? There's a letter around this. As two more two or more or less foregone conclusions lead me to one terrifying uh, terrifying. Yes, I'm afraid to say that the outcome of this conversation may I'll change how we look at this case completely. Hold it! Objection! Oh no, nope, that's not it. I was thinking that, but it's not. Hold it! Uh, 
I did that again. Objection! I think it's a letter again. Not that. Sorry guys, it's like this is really game to me. Objection. Really? Yesterday at the hospital was we saw you with this bottle. Although the contents is well of course a small point is all. Uh according to the fancy the painters and it was still a minute fight was in a strict night. Strip 9! The very same force and effect of Rhymus. Ah! The screen, you broke into the man's lobby. For no reason. Can, can this be? You broke into my room? To. It may seem incredibly incredible to the door. But from the many clues, there's only one. Person who attempted to take Mr. Sinclair's life was poison. What is he, Mr. Oliver? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Council, are you seriously suggesting that a woman put poison? That's where you did attend it. I don't know. And when the victim happened, 
didn't intend to worry about what happened six days ago, surely. Ah, Eric, well, that's has a very good, very good, very good. Perhaps not, my lord. I beg your pardon? There was a significant police pres there were there was a significant police present in there that evening on account of the incident. A local residents be are were being investigated throughout the night on the Andorian Kuduri. A circumstantial criminal would have likely chosen not to carry out any wrongdoing at the time. Lord Monzeeks. And of course, the following morning there was more activity at Mr. Zane's here, so more activity. Ah, yes. You mean as well for the arrest sentence? That's right. And there's and the defense has already proved Close. Mr. Saint Sir of Glass Metal and with gas pipes is for a sinister reason of some. To cause the gas to Mr. Smith's room to go out, therefore, asphyxiated up. But once Mr. Smith's been arrested, his room was under constant surveillance by the police. In circumstances, Mr. Fear had no reason to blow hot air into the gas pipes. His intended victim being the prison cell. And but the intended, but the need to tamper the gas, remove the poison on the. And then, three days ago now, the situation changed again. Alright, as the number says, trial took place here, and the old family came to an end. The, pr the trial, which means the man stood, could have stepped back, and was duly acquitted. That resulted in Mr. Nasumi uh, returning to his lodging. And the very night, his gas stove mysteriously went out. Mr. Shanesbury was mysteriously poisoned. Uh, um... Uh, in conclusion, poison was presented in the mouth of the gas pipe. The pipe that was from for four days earlier. Uh, mm. With that news understanding, it's come clear that this letter was part of the plan. What plan? The court will recall the note given instruction to the visit the clock. And the recipient tried to tell nobody else the reason for the instructions were now clear. To ensure that time the lodger that the lodger would not be at home home at the stated time. To make sure I wasn't home. Exactly. While you were out, the screen could safely slip in your room, knowing that she would be disturbed. You, you mean to say that the letter, that letter, was written on the screen, yes. In order to cover her tracks, she could take away her... Just another smeared poison in the mouth of the gas and pipe in your room. Oh boy. Here comes the problem. What do you have? Where's your thought? It was you. Just who are you? Why are you trying to The screen's motive should be obvious. It was all tied up with someone who we've heard several times during the course of this. So that's what's behind all this. You're... Please... Take that! Mr. Ross himself. Duncan Ross. That's right. Before the defendant, Mr. Sumi took up the residence and lodged her Mr. Kara Debs. Somebody else was also renting the room. Mr. Duncan Ross. I knew I heard that name somewhere else. It was all over the papers months ago. Months ago. The man who died under strange circumstances at the haunted lodging. Mm -hmm. That does ring a bell. Ah, of course, yes. I remember now. The young man claimed to be strangled by a convict's curse or such as that. Sadly, my lord, it wasn't a curse of any kind. No, it was an accident. The man died as a result of Mr. Shakespeare blowing into the pipe to cause the leak into the room. It was murder, plain and simple. Oh, God. <laughs> well, what do you know? 
the world is all unfair. Curses, curse, there's death. To that's all people care about. It's an it's an understanding, so that's what they want to know. It doesn't cross my, their mind that the real people are involved. And once they're bored, just one month later, once the story lost its appeal, everyone forgot him. You, you mean you, Duncan Floss? That's Ross and Miss Green's fiance. It's Ross, but Miss Green's fiance. Fiance? You have may have not known until now who Miss Green really was. Is Miss Shakespeare? But well, she's known exactly who you are all along. Because you are a smart enemy, the murderer who took the life of the man who she was in. I Miss Green is not in the case. It's not the case. That order is accurate. Signature? You smeared. Her reaction says it all. This is a uh, quite an extraordinary. On Earth again. Yes, my lord. Adds a part. Objection! Inhaling so deeply appears in my f as taking the launch hold down to his gas cause him to jump. What? Why would Mr. Shaster have wanted to kill these lodgers, he said. You have completely failed to provide a motive to sustain the accused of man. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, wait, Mr. Reaper, I'll leave. I am sorry. And you'll have to forgive me, Mr. Navarro, sir. But I don't intend to admit to anything either. That's green. I'm sure you'll think of me being rude, but... I'm not going to send the gallows like this. Objection! And you broke in this man. If you didn't, it's me. What was your reason? I thought I'd have a look around. I was like, that's. Sorry? You're right. I suspected him. So I thought I might find more some evidence or something in this room. Emma said it was him who took them its life. Oh, Valet, Bellany, a uh, tyranny around this woman. But in any case, where to leave the room? I do turn the key. That's all places falling apart. The key, locked doors are no different. Don can show me once how to lock the door with a slight drop of, of a piece of wire. Oh, awful, this awful, this tyranny, pinnacle of the woman. We will consider your trespassing on some future occasion, but for now, tell the court what you found, what evidence we would show you. Well, I spotted the note I sent him lying on the floor. I went to pick it up, I know something. On the floorboard, was loose, underneath it, I discovered a secret hiding place. Eh? Yes, we also discovered the, hi the hiding place. Inside, we found a newspaper cutting, a photograph, and an empty box, tin box. Ah, uh, yes, well, I found... The thing is, I, when I found it, the box wasn't empty. Come again? What? There was something in it? Yes. The rather nice key. Uh. Oh! What are you doing with that? What the? Everything, every ounce of color paper with me. Give it here. Give it here at once. It's fine. I hear it. Hey, what was that? What is What did you say? You inherited it. Ah, oh, uh, no, I, uh, uh, no way talking about that, on that one. He inherited it. It was obviously important to you, so you gone to such a lane to hide it, so I took it. And that would explain the key! I yet, and yet, I don't know what it's for, but you took something precious from me, so I took something precious from you. So, let's say we can't open, it, can't open something now, I don't care. I'll give it back this minute, give it to me! Calm yourself, witness. So Mr. Shakespeare had tried, and one 
case succeeded to take the life of two lodgers now. Yes, his motive for doing so. The keys to everything. If it's true that it appears to be the motive is for the accident at first. But considering that we know, I think there's actually someone I can explain. What? I need to recall every piece of evidence at our disposal. Everything we see. Because I'm sure I just caught a glimpse of the link between my dirty cement. And it's the it's the doc, it's the case document. Take that! That's an official police report, isn't it? Huh? The Kelding select. That's not, that's not about. How did you get a hold of that? So the so the. Mm -hmm. That sadly, that there's now the now sadly deceased uh, Ross and the defendant, Mr. Natsumi, have only one thing linking to them: the fact that the lodgings in the same room. Well, yes. How well we know that for certain. And the room was formerly occupied by Selden. Until this, he was arrested in Scotland Yard for his involvement in the murder of Borgley. Hmm. I see. And it so happens that Quebec Selden left behind a very substantial mystery when he died. The sum of 1,000 pounds worth of loot that he stole, which is yet to remain to be found. Ah, uh, yes, of course, it's coming back to me now. It's written in there in this file. A thousand pounds lost en route to hell. That's how the paper summed it up. And it seems to be one particular fellow inmate was a convict in this moment. It's not hard to imagine that Selden is the city inmate with his most hardest secret. The location of the stolen loot, and perhaps a key to unlocking where whatever contains the valuable one. Uh, ah, you, you mean this key is... Mr. Shakespeare, it was you, wasn't it? You were the capital offender who decided when he died, weren't you? Yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? Go ahead. It's all. The name of the inmate who was in Selden's death is not noted in this file, but simply telegraph the person who died would quickly tell us how false charge really is. Ugh. But even if it's true, why would the man so attend to killing every single girl? There's only one explanation, my lord. It was the very room that Sheldon hid his loot. So it's all comes to. Oh, yes, and I haven't established that. Because there's shit all actually started to make purpose. When he lost his. Uh, when he let out his poison, rather than fellas, bonus. He made it immediately to the ground. And the hopes of retaining Selden's old room. However, the retired army man was unable to offer him an accommodation to his choice. Because Selden's old room has already been let to someone else but Mr. Duncan. Ah. Uh, which is why Mr. St. Charles Squire advised as a gas of And why he successfully, presumably, intended to acquire his choice. There is a problem, however. And haven't been into it. Mr. Sozaki Nelson. A defender of case not least. So is didn't that this time oh, no. All for a simple and average fan. Get your hands on us. Oh so, uh, you you uh, uh, uh. Oh boy. There comes a problem. Here comes a mess. Looks like I'm gonna snuff it out before they get a stench on my neck. I mean, that before. Listen, I want you to have me in loot. App and stop the coppers from getting their mitts on it. It's in, in the room where I was lodging when they got me. It, this is the key to take it. I always stay one step ahead, mate. See you in the t in L, I guess. Shane Spear. S 
says mine. Huh? What did he say? Say it's mine. That loot is mine. Is there shames here? It's all lies. I don't accept any of it. Why should I? After all, you don't have any sort of evidence. You can't prove I killed a fella. For it's worth, I'm the victim of you, remember? Isn't that right? I'll leave the gym. This guy! It, I, I don't admit it to it. There's nothing you do. You can't arrest me for the time being, either. Barely. You can't arrest the victim, can you? It's all the right leave. Ugh, this guy. I'm close. I just need a few more hours. I swear to myself that I get my hands on it. And I can almost taste it now. Do you really think I can? There's no question in my mind now. This man's guilty. Though, through and through. But he seems utterly intoxicated by the idea of the loot. I'm afraid that however how hard you press him, he'll never admit to what he's done. I'm not really. There is a way. Pardon? There's one way I can finish him. No. He already committed the most heinous crimes to get his hands on the loot. Which means all we need to do is find it first. A fine plan. Whereas not to find the fact the police thoroughly searched the room following the most part. It's as all we must find hidden in the mm. and it's, I could, certainly cannot rule. If only if only there was a way we could find the convict's loot quickly. It's his final piece of compass. But I need to find it. Or rather, I might find some, something that can help us find the loot hidden. Hello? Oh, yes, Council. The Vince would like to make a proposal. How about we find the way? Same here. I believe we already processed with some that could give us a clue of the word. It's the only last chance, so it has to be. So we already used the same technique once, and it's definitely paid off. Alright, well then, Council? I think it's a handprint on the wall, isn't it? It's either a handprint on the wall or... Oh. Sorry, I thought I had the save button. Okay, there's two things I can think of. It's either... The handprint on the wall, or it's a um, vendor's file. Take that! I'm afraid I'm mistaken. Those are James Harris' handprints on the wall on lunch. That's right, my lord. I expose the results of the fence. Based on the one. A great detective. Is that some kind of joke? Do you really think I'm going to be taunted a man by such a ridiculous spell? I should great not recognize such a the most of shame spear. Perhaps we should complete our first most ridiculous type. Ah uh, the Harlock shown to himself. What are you doing here, great detective? Your usually haunts are filthy backstreet's capital, are they not? Ah, oh, Mr. Reaper, it's been too long. And I see your complex has worsened since the last few months. Mr. Jones, does he know Miss Lawrence like seen well enough to say something like that in case? Mr. Jones, though the heart uh, at large does not give you the right to be here in my courtroom as this fit. If I may, my lord, Mr. Jones has no has helped us in her clothes, you say. My lord. Method of identifying every location is 
This method would be able to turn this gentleman's gas pipe activity Oh, You need a very small apple amount of individual precisely to touch it, man. In your case, sir, I used the teacup you had only in elementary. Oh, now it was an auto. Yeah, yes. Well, I'm gonna use this sample to make sure I didn't care the solution this time. Thank you for offering your help, Mr. Sholmes. Where is it? This is for a, um... Uh, oh. This is where a, um... Uh, where a trophy comes in. I'm gonna go and do this cause... Uh, So I can get that, uh -huh. get that trophy. Yep, there we go, the noodler. Josh, case closed. That's green. Oh, me? What do you want with me? The key around your neck, if you please. Sorry? Uh the key belonged to Sheldon. The remarkable secretion of the man's skin on the surface that he can use it. I heard true. That is the sample sample we need. Using it to create a solution required Mr. Sheldon. And final time to write the sun to the room. That he used to rank. Ugh! And so James here, as once great to another, I assure you, the late convict had all hid is hidden somewhere in his former lodging. I shall uncover it no more than 30 minutes. Ugh! So, Mr. James here, the truth is revealed well within our grasp, and such as such. You will not get your hands on Sheldon's stolen wealth. Ugh, ugh, ugh. In that case, I'm glad to let Mr. Sholmes have this key. Oh, 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 give the key to me. That may take, I should have it. I don't have it. It's over, Mr. James Spear. No, no. You are out of office now. There's only one thing left to do. I met your guilt. Oh, 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 I'm sorry to the potions. That's better. Here. Here. Right on, guy. Case closed. Such a... Yeah. Disney a clown. D not. Says the murderer, the self. That's what you are. That's what you are. A shameful clown. I never did kill the man. I just, I just wanted to drive him out of the room. That's all. So you did. You have the time to convict. Find the convicts hall of his stolen goods. <clears throat> Yet, after you killed the young man, you still didn't move into the room. I asked the landlord, of course, I pleaded with him, but he refused. Why? It was three months behind, I was three months behind my, with the rent, for one thing. Mr. Gardev really had a lot to put up with. And he had the gas repair done immediately up, up afterwards, but putting nothing but in the room out of action for a while. 
and then the Japanese man swooped in and just right moment to sign the new lease. Poor Mr. Natsumi, what an unfortunate timing. Then, five days ago, after the incident in the Ryer Yard, the Japanese fellow got himself arrested. I thought I finally had my chance. I wasn't to be, I wasn't be. No, the scene was sealed off and been guarded by the police. Night and day. <laughs> and if I remember highly, rightly, Mr. Song spent the whole day in there reading books. Oof. <laughs> I couldn't even enter the room, get a little search for the loot. Which is why, why he, one day Mr. Song, Mr. Nasumi was acquitted and returned to his room. You once again tried your luck by blowing into the own um, gas pipes to feed the self in his room. I've announced to you, however, the, uh, however, that action which led to your death, to a deathly trap. I'm ashamed here. How does it go to be or not to be? That is question. From Shakespeare Hamlet, Shakespeare Act 3, Scene 1. Well, let me tell you one of your case. It's not to be. That is the question. You deserve to die for what you've done. I really didn't think it was the ter just it was just a terror. I never forgot our conversation the night before Duncan died. Need. The gas supply and my new lodging are completely are a complete disaster all up. The gas supply. Yes, the stove has always seemed to be go out in the middle of the night for some reason. That's no joke. They say it's convict it's the convict's curse. Oh, Duncan, please don't say there. I don't care how cheap it is. Alright then, if that's important to you, I'll start looking for a new place. There, There's a spare room in my house. Why don't you leave the horrible room tonight? No, I'd better not. We said we wait until we graduate before we tell our, we told our parents to remember. Oh, but that was the last time we ever spoke. That very night, he... He fell victim to the gas. If only, if I only knew, if only I'd known of what's gonna happen, I insisted he left the horrible room. Yeah, it's, but instead, all I've been left with is bitter regret. I stopped going to school, but something kept drawing me back to the house on my road. I was stopped. Stu I was, I saw a stoop on the eastern um, looking man with a mustache coming out of the house on the day when I was there. He walked up on a garden road and grabbed some food, grabbed some food so I followed him. And I sat myself down next to him. He had some watery looking soup and started to pick quarrels um, with the pop of cake. Quarrel with the pop of cake. This place is cursed, I tell you, cursed. The ghost of conflict is who is going over there. Is trying to stop me. I wake up in the middle of the night, freezing to death because the stove has, has gone out. A room full of gas is full of gas. I can hardly breathe. The pipes have been checked. No problem there. It's like the problem. I'm the problem. That's why I'm there thinking. But how could that be? Duncan was gone and. How has this man had almost suffered the same fate? Could it really be a curse? That then I remembered. A rumor I heard about the gas company go around investigating the gas installations. A rumor? Ah, you mean... Yes, everybody heard the stories it seems about how they go around checking the pipes. How anything connected to the gas that can be extinguished by blowing into the pipe works. That's when I started a little flicker of doubt in the back of my mind. That just wouldn't go away. Was he real? Was it really an accident, though? 
Because I had an idea, I wouldn't leave, it wouldn't leave me alone. It plagued me on a night. So I brought the his one at the black market at least. Uh, black market. I've never been. I've heard people talk about them. Um, and you really can buy anything you think of there. In some ways, I've been able to get my hands on this so easily. Made me even more determined. If I found out one way or another, was Duncan stabbed in action or was it murder? And your chosen method of establishing the truth was simple, but highly effective. So, smear poison on the gas pipes. I suspected... You, su you suspected the man the tampering with... And wait. If Mr. Shakespeare was innocent, nothing would have come of what you've done. But if he had, was guilty, he would pay for a crime dearly. I found out the name of the man I suspected William Shakespeare. Then I wrote him a little note. This little note. I have information regarding the death of Duncan Ross. Come to this letter on my PM. Don't tell anybody about this letter or the meeting. It's a matter of an utmost importance. Had to be done. If he'd done it, I knew he would worry. If that word would worry him enough to have him go. So I waited to see if it worked. And of course, Mr. Shakespeare followed the instructions to the letter. It worked out. No, I worked out where the gas pipe was straight away. So I smeared a good amount of poison. I brought all around on the map. So, all the time I was praying for the devil's work to be done, and that's when it was fine. Actually, no. All the time praying for work to be done, and, the, and that culprit would get his justice. Alright. But you could have went this the other way. E. I don't understand why she couldn't just... I understand she did for love, but she could have done it another way. Three days ago, when you were first stood in the docks before me, this was a whole affair was relatively straightforward. Yes, my lord. I certainly never imagined the depths of that party that we should have subsequently find lurking behind this case. It has been a long road, my my friend. Oh yes. And one I certainly didn't advise I got if I walking with you. Nevertheless, together we've reached the light at the end of the tunnel, as it were. Miss Green. Yes, my lord. You will be heads well hence well be stripped of your freedom. A punish as punishment for your attempt to murder when you stay there. Yes, I know. And you when it's a change here. You will be tried for the murder of Dr. Ross in full blood. And the subsequent attempt on Mr. Zonkis in life here in person. Hello, <sighs> um, Mr. Naga? Ah, uh, yes? Yesterday at the hospital, when you and your friends uh, stopped me from when you from in your life by drinking, was it? It was like one of the bottles. Was it? I wasn't myself. I couldn't even remember what was going through my mind. To be or not to be, I suppose. That was that's a question that that's so hard to answer. It seems. Personally, I'm glad you're being, of your being here, Miss Green. Oh, and I like to believe that this lesson of Mr. Shakespeare didn't die when you ingested it. For your sake, at the very least. Good 
because of you, I choose life, not death. And now, you made the truth come out at last. That's really, I can't thank you enough. Oh, Mr. Green. Mr. Sokka's now saw me. Yes, no look. The court declares yours. You are, or Zarna, found to blame in this matter. Accordingly, I would call upon the ladies and gentlemen to ready to present their verdict and not guilty. Yes, full agreement, my lord. In that case, I hear ready to clear the defendant. So what was that um precious thousand dollar? Uh one thousand dollar um I know my guess. Where's the dirt? All we know it wanna know is what was that item? February twenty third. Wow, that took a lot longer. Longer than I thought. Oh, come on, guy. Can you not do that, please? Oh, yes. Alas. The divine justice is only done. The divine justice. My dear fellow, it's where divine justice is in the word you will save, save your fun. No. no, this has nothing to do with my mustache. <laughs> so, say the luxury your mustache is a sign of physical problems, Mr. Jones. Once again, once again, you saved me from doom. I'm very happy to be helped, Mr. Nelson. Congratulations on upon your acquittal. Your second almost in many days. That's many days. I was the first acquitted with the gain of affection for the English literature. Once list this is our great homeland. And then by a twist of fate, I was brought to the land of the book that bore fruit of that literature. Only the city breaks a Mordor. <laughs> Did we get a Lord of the Rings reference? <laughs> as became my poison. Try as I might, I never found my figure. In the end, I confined myself to my room, build it and live life through, through, through friendly old books. New had such a difficult time, haven't you? Ah, uh, but a week ago, you know, I dragged you out of that dark, dingy room of yours, did I? Yes, you did. And I've been more of a life in this week than, more life in this week than I, than all of your, all of my years to date. And for the first time, I feel I've begun to see the true face of England that so far I've been hiding from me behind the wall fog. My dear fellow, there is nothing special about the true far face of the England as you put. Whoever one goes want the, the world humans are humans. There are a few genuine differences. Yes, I think you're right. I finally started to see that and I've come to understanding something. I've worked out the way I attract. I was attracted to the English literature in my first place. I made it see that whatever our nationality, we are humans. All oh, we have the same hopes and fears. We are. We are just all just doing our best to live. All well sad. I came to the same feeling all the way. I made a decision too. I'm going to cut short and study here. And return to what? Just when you become friends with England, you're in a terrible shame. Oh, I know. That's a tug of, of my heartstrings. It really does. I have decided to take everything I've learned from here in Britain and write something in my own. A novel of sorts, I suppose. Oh my. So you're creating your own literature, Mr. Nelson. Meanwhile, I'm also. Oh, well, no. I mean. I would, one person, call it a literature. Why not? When is precisely the, the definition? Too short. I suppose you're right. Yes. Well, I will, in a way, be a literature. 
My god, this guy's music. As of now, all I know is I be like the tribe of my hand. Everybody! I have no delusions of grandeur. I, for one, would love to read your work. Well, all things there, it might be for you be for the best after all. Yeah, and once again, I'm most victorious. From the battle with the Reaper. Ah, that's very true. And there's no salvation for the person in the docks so on the Reaper as far as again. Ah, the desire of return of us taste. Receive safely your homeland it is one I quite understand. My goodness, yes! Faced with such a terrifying prospect. <coughs> Nobody would consider that cowardly, I'm quite sure. But that's that's not what I'm leaving, I mean. And that's the case we found ourselves in Boiled in six months ago now. Since Akasan did turn this made a report about the case about to the government. It was on the reading that the report person from Toba was prompted to visit the scholar. And barely any time Suzaku-san was given the news that she must return to the room. On the back of the telegram was stating falsely that her father had fallen gangly ill. The only possible explanation, explanation that comes to mind is what happens after that of the trial the following day. The day where we uncovered the loot hidden by the deceased victim compact of the lobby. I think it's the strychnine poison. That's what I think. Oh, well done, Mr. Shams. How simply marvelous of you. I did uncover a secret hiding place on just one day. Wasn't it supposed to take 30 minutes? As I believe I told you, my dear fellow, scan prints are extremely useful in situations. Uh, one, two, three, right, Ah. But you see, he's been happy and lunching in agreement and this whole time, apparently. Happily, I think perhaps humorously, might should be closer to the truth. So, it's time for an advantage batch in hiding place now. Isn't it? Why is this out? Let's look at it for some of you're ready, let's just What the? What is that? What the heck? It looks to be some sort of neck band, a collar. A collar is huge though. And look at the dim cell and sit in it. I can see why it's claimed to be worth a thousand pounds, perhaps. Could I could use it have it as a belt. Oh, I have you noticed something inside there? There are some dark stains. You're you don't think you don't think there could be blood, don't you? I mean, there's quite a lot of it. On oh, second thoughts, perhaps it wouldn't be in a boat. Then, of course, there's an emblem here. A large letter B for a small ground. Are <coughs> oh, this the same thing, do you think? Oh, I wouldn't have noticed. Hmm. Also, I've seen that emblem somewhere before, you know? Part kind of it. That's enough of that, I think. Uh, what's the matter, Mr. Fink? All the color drain from. That's the British symbol! Royal family symbol! I have to take Well, Inspector, I believe you ought to be taking this on you. It could be a valuable evidence, after all. It must be kept safely under lock and key. <coughs> ah, yes. Get your goblin hands off that lot and hand it over now. I I never I've never seen a collar that large before. And all the tools certainly look extremely valuable. But that's not what stood out to me. At least not once I noticed it. Those dark marks inside the collar. Those stains. Could they really have been blood? Uh, 
Oh, that's funny case, wasn't it? But all buttoned up now. Oh, let's look very pleased, Iris. I'm because that is starting to wonder what we could use, what I could use the racers and the monsters. This case will be perfectly, it'll be fascinating. Yeah, we're talking about the latest installment of the Empress. Uh, the mystery of the night and the mist. And my sense to confidence curse. Perhaps. I should make two parter, sorry. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, where please, Iris? Uh oh. That's what is it, really? I'm sorry. But you can't write about this case. It's out of the question. What? Why not? It's a great case. Then I also have to insist that you limit it yourself to the first two titles. Your first two titles. The second must never be written. It's it's clear. What? Yeah. What is? Wait. Case five and that. Hold on. And so it was that the second of Sol Seki-san's cases became buried in obscurity. Now, looking back, I feel I understand. I can see why Mr. Sholmes forbade Iris from publishing the story. It would take a little longer before I saw the link between everything that had happened and would happen. For it wasn't until two months after the arrival of Susato-san's letter that events began to unfurl again. With an incident that took place at the very heart of the eagerly awaited Great Exhibition of London. Oh boy. Who's what a case? And we got the key of knowledge. Um, Trucky. Well, that was a case. I uh, was not expecting that. Um, I will say though, it probably still falls under the se second case problem um, of um, of later um, entries. He's, he's, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, yes, we got some really good um, things, but still we're left out onto wondering what is going on. I think I probably was, um, figured it out, that color, um, remember, the, and, um, the end of the last case, um, uh, name was the Hound of Baskervilles. So, and, that looks like the British Royal Family sign insignia to me, if I had to take a wild guess. Yes. So, it has to do with something with that. Right, that's my, um, theory, but... Keep in mind, I still have not finished this. I have not seen anything about this game. Um. However, the more I'm thinking about this case, really, it's like, like, should not have been split into two cases, to be honest. Just, um, because if you think about it, case four was, of uh, the previous game was, um, uh, was pretty much just like, like, one time and done. And this one, in order for me to get the trophy again, another trophy, I have to go back and, um, get, um, examine the bottle for, um, our olive green. I should have done that before I presented her that photo, but I guess that was a stupid move on my end. And, uh, side that, this case is pretty weak. I'd probably give it like a 5 out of 10. Mainly because there's still unanswered mysteries uh, about this case. Nice, to be honest. I mean, it's nice that the previous case um, mentions about it, but I'm thinking the Strict Nine is also another reason behind it. I have a feeling Strict Nine was the um, mur was the poison that was used in um, previous um, in both case one and case um, both case ones of both cases. That's because think about it, strychnine is is a very fat. It can be a slow active or a fast active drug, depending on how it is. Uh -huh. And an open room would cause the strychnine to be uh, instantaneously. But that said, 
We're about to start. Um, from what I heard, one of the bit, one of the uh, best cases of the game. Name. The Great Departed Souls. The Return of the Departed Soul. Oh, oh. All right, guys. I'm M Gunnel Three. We'll catch you guys um, tomorrow, probably tomorrow for case three. See you guys then.